Howdy there, folks! How are y'all doing? My name is Reese, and welcome back to our Stone Block Let's Play Adventure! Where I wasn't joking, I did a bit of an overhaul. In fact, I might have gone too far with my mineral porches. I made a lot of them. We got 27 left, which isn't a problem because uh, they're, they're pretty handy. I like the look of them. I think we'll be using them more moving forward, unless we go to other dimensions and don't want to leave them there, because I... I view them as being valuable, even though they're made out of berries and cobblestone. Cobblestone we've got so much of, and berries, what are they actually called? They're called menril, uh, is it berry? It, it is berries. I misspelled berries. I did B-A-R, like a fool. We've got so many of those, and we're getting more constantly. Which, by the way, someone did recommend a better setup for all of this, but after I'd recorded that episode... Maybe we'll look at that today, because today we're looking at more viewer-recommended things, ideas, and such. A uh, brief tour of the remodel? There you go, you've seen it all. This is what's big right now, is the wall of suggestions. So, these are all pretty much my ideas. Although some of them have been suggested by other people, like Lucas Kitts recommended this one. Uh, if you look around, you see one of your suggestions up here. Someone recommended building a room in the darkness for berry bushes. We're not focusing on any of those top rows, though. We're focusing down here on the bottom. See, I labeled these. I went through the effort of going through, finding the comments, seeing who left them. We got Germ Silver, who recommended building a magma or diamond-powered anvil, which ties into Matthew Layman's gluttony charm idea, and also diamond furnaces from Maria Amor. All solid ideas that we're going to look at today. And I almost always back into this ore bush. It's quite dangerous. Let's go ahead and start with the gluttony charm because that's going to lead into the powered anvils because one of the questions I asked earlier was how do you recharge one of these? Well, it turns out that's a damage, not a charge. And once it's all the way down, the air charge will be gone. Now we can build another one. Maybe? Look, I, I don't frankly know. We'd have to have bone, a block of bone. Oh, goodness gracious. It doesn't actually look that bad. I'm talking about it like it's the worst thing ever. A block of bone, nether wart, a diamond, some iron. We could totally build one of these, but why would we when we can build an item to repair this? But first, speaking of charms, there is an awful lot of them. And if you look up baubles, there's even more. But this one right here, as recommended... But many, many times, by Matthew Lehman is, uh, keep in mind, guys, I do record these in blocks because I can only record really on Saturday, sometimes on Sunday. So all the videos you're going to see this week were all recorded one after the other. So if I don't get to one of your suggestions in like the very next video, it's because the very next video has already been recorded. Uh, the Gluttony Charm. It'll make eating faster. It requires wheat, string, and a golden apple, which is just blocks of gold around an apple. Goodness gracious. I mean, we can do that. I assume we have wheat, but we only have two? We only have two wheat? Hold on. No. We're good. We'll leave that there to continue growing. <laughs> we'll just let that continue to be a thing uh, all by itself. I need to build a new farm at some point. This, though, how much gold do we have? We have enough gold for one. We, d d enough gold for one, everybody. Okay, let's take all of the gold that we've got, and we'll see how far we can get with this. Oh, good grief. We don't have a whole lot of gold. Uh, we don't We don't have a whole lot of gold at all. We'll get all that cooked up, and that'll get us, what, 62 gold? <sighs> oh, we have three gold blocks inside of here, though. So, we got that going for us. I didn't even realize that before. And the Resonant Ender which someone recommended a way to get that out of that. We might have to look at blood. I don't know what died in there. Something died in there. It's got blood in it now. Things are happening inside of this seared brick contraption. Creatures are spawning, I reckon, because it's so dark in there. And then they're just insta-dying, which is really dark. That's not going to cook. What am I doing? We got seven blocks now. I'm going to work on getting all of the gold out of here. Okay, I, I think this is all the gold we need. Got enough for one more of these, a couple more of those. In the meantime, we just we just barely have enough gold to do this golden apple nonsense. This had better be worth it. Is eating faster really worth this much gold? Are there alternatives for the golden apple? Let me check. We got golden apple. Oh. Oh! Oh, you can just use one that has just... P oh, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can only imagine the comments section if I hadn't figured that out. Oh, good grief. Oh, the the nonsense I would be facing. Gluttony charm. We got it. It counts as a bauble, so I guess we can wear it. Oh, no. 
we must choose. Do we want the gluttony charm or do we want the portal charm? Probably, I mean, how often do we go to the nether? Which is really the only place that's useful. Am I hungry yet? Let's see how much faster we eat. Y'all ready for this? Wow, that was much faster. Shrek me sideways. Okay, let's get some some better apples, though. Apples that are going to be a bit more filling, perhaps. Like these, the cooked apples. Good grief, I love that. That is great. Okay, thank you so much there, Matthew Lehman. Thank you so much. Taking your idea off the idea wall. And we'll plop it back down there with uh, just nothing for the future. Next up, what happens when we run at it? Well, this one's never going to be damaged. But this one is, is damaged. It's running out on me. And we need to be able to repair it. Germ Silver recommends building the magma or diamond powered anvil. If we just type in powered anvil, will it give me some... Well, if you typed in anvil and not abdgl, or whatever I had typed in just there. So a powered diamond anvil is, is different. It repairs anything using energy. Oh, I see. So there's a difference between the two. This one obviously consumes electricity, requires an enchantment table and a bunch of diamonds. Or alternatively, we could build a lava anvil, which I'm going to guess consumes. Yeah, repairs anything using lava. We have a lot of lava. We got a lot of lava, in fact. Cobblestone, gold blocks, we have some of those. Magma. Oh, it's just magma. Oh, hold on. Do I have magma cream growing in here? That would have been a good idea to keep going. I think I took that sapling down. We've only got the one type of uh, sapling going now. Magma, though, how am I doing on it? I've got... Isn't there a tree that drops magma creams? Or is that my imagination? Oh, we can create them using blaze powder and slime balls. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right, then. Um, how much blaze powder do we have, though? Uh, oh, quite a bit. Oh, all right. All right, then we're good. So we need, what, 4, 8, 12? I made 13 for some reason. Might as well make 15. Might as well just make 15 and be done with it. That'll create the three of these we needed. And then we combine that with... We've got gold blocks. We should have some stone. I think this is probably the only thing we're missing here is an anvil. Can't imagine having one of those lying around. Although we should have checked. Because we might have. Should we check anvil? No, we didn't. So no worries. You never know in this world. Sometimes... We just end up with things that, you know, from our exploration and our journeys that we wouldn't otherwise expect to have. Uh, so lava's going up to here. We could go ahead and add this anvil, perhaps right here, and it would go ahead and connect in and, and start getting lava out of our quantum tank. Looks like our other tanks are all finally empty, so that's good. Pickaxe. A necessity. I can't quite click on that thing consistently. I always seem to hit just above it by mistake. So let's break this off. And we'll plop that down there. Interesting. Very interesting. All right. I do want to get a wrench. This isn't necessary, but it is bothering me that it's connected up on like every single possible side. Can I click this thing to rotate it? No. Mm, perhaps if I'd placed it down while facing in a different direction. But it's already filling up with lava. Or is it? It doesn't have... Okay, there it goes. It's filling up very slowly. We should probably put some speed upgrades in here. But apparently, this will charge things, so if we take our air charm, I, well, not charge them, but repair them. Repair? Always on? Oh, it is very slowly repairing it. Very, very slowly repairing it. Exceedingly slowly. Uh, and we're running out of lava, unfortunately. Let's see what happens when it reaches the end. If it kind of bumps back up and consistently bumps back up. We might not worry about it. Ah, it's not consistently bumping back up. It is running out. Do we have the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? Uh, do you know the Muffin Man? We do have some speed upgrades. We're running out of our magic speed upgrades, though. Is that going to help? That doesn't appear to be helping at all. What? What? How slow can this possibly be? So we should we be a better? Should we build some conduits? Should we just build some conduits? Is the question we're asking today? Refined storage conduit. Oh, interesting. So it's like a cable, but it's a conduit, and I guess it runs along with all the other conduits because you can fit a bunch of conduits in like a single square. That's interesting. There's your basic fluid conduit, and then there's your pressurized fluid conduit. The difference is going to be the glass. Quite clear glass? 
of quartz fused glass, which I think we need an alloy smelter and nether quartz. And what goes into conduit binder again? We don't have to use pressurize. We can use regular fluid, but flow, fluid flow respects gravity. And we don't want our pipes to respect gravity at all. And then also the max extract is 50 millibucket, millibuckets per tick. This is 100. This is 200. Conduit binder is just sand, gravel, and clay. I doubt we have those materials, sadly, in our inventory at the moment. <laughs> no. But I can go ahead and make them. We need to automate this process. I say it every time. First things first, though, we need to make sure that we can use our low-tech, we can, we can use our low-tech alloy smelter here to make the glass, and we will need three of them, or alternatively, a regular fluid conduit, and then two. Okay, so fortunately, it was very easy to make gravel because it's just cobblestone with a hammer begets gravel. We had some full blocks of clay, just got to break those down, and then remember all that dirt that we got? I turned a lot of it into sand. We did that last episode to make glass, so we have some of that sand left over. I put more of it in here to make more dust, but we don't need to do that anymore. I, I take it back. I m regrets and mistakes. Also, I, oh gosh, didn't mean to do this. Shrek, okay, you need to go, because you're causing issues. <laughs> we got our fused quartz. I made a peculiar number. I didn't mean to make eight of them. How did that happen? Give me some more... Give me some more nether quartz. We don't have that much of it, so I am trying to use it sparingly. Maybe make another eight. Why not? I don't care. Put all of this inside of here, though, and we should be good to go with our first batch of conduit binder. We'll make 32 of it, and then we have to cook that up, and the best place to do that is going to be over here in our room of shame. Where do we, do any of these? Oh, look, we have glass. Sand we could have been using, but instead we have glass. That's good. I can make some more blue lamps now, which I adore. Okay, so we should have enough of everything now to create a batch of pressurized... Oh, two batches, in fact. Good. Pressurized fluid conduits. We really should have switched to conduits a long time ago. I keep saying this about everything we do, though. Like, everything we do, I'm like, oh, we should have done this a long time ago. I can't believe we're still doing it like this, lol. Uh, now, first things first. We want to disable this. So, do not insert, do not extract. This is a new UI since the last time I've used this mod. We want it to only insert, do not extract. We want to set this one to... Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez gonna have to get up underneath there and click on it just right dead gum it uh, 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 uh we're take up the floor to heck with it insert do not extract redstone mode ye, n never active always active is what these should be set to do they have are they never what always right that's what we want or maybe to just ignore ignore would be better is there an ignore option active with signal activate without signal never active always active. I guess that is just ignore redstone mode right there. We want to set this one to only extract, and then it should start working the second we say always active. Boom! Okay, and just like that, we're now moving lava, hopefully a lot faster. The fastest way I know of to test this is to turn on the bobble and fly around a lot and get it good and damaged. Although now that I think about it, can we just anything? Hold on. What about this? This is... That's theoretically... Oh my gosh, it is repairing it. It can repair anything. Lava's dropping very quickly, though. I was hoping it would be able to maintain lava a bit faster than this. It's not. Oh my gosh, never mind. It filled up there. Still, I mean, you would you would hope it would go faster. What is this? Do we not have any options? Are there any upgrades you can stick on these things? How to speed up conduit? Other than just to build the better conduit here, which we could. We have pressurized fluid conduit. If we just had some vibrant alloys, and I think we get violent alloys inside of an alloy smelter. It's a combination of energetic and ender pearl. And energetic is a combination of gold, redstone, glowstone. We could go ahead and make those, really. Look at this, though. But oh, what about this? What about Tinker's Construct Tools? It, it is draining lava. I can't quite tell if it's repairing it because it doesn't have an EMC value we can look at. If I just set my mouse there, though, and we can Oh my gosh, it repairs everything! <gasps> this is spectacular!
Germ Silver, thank you so much for that recommendation. That is a solid one. I keep typing A as soon as I'm done with those. My goodness gracious. I am very tempted, very tempted to go ahead and create, just make the Interfluid Conduit. It's not necessary, though, is it? This is maintaining its fill pretty well. I mean, when it gets close to the bottom, it fills back up. So as of right now, there's no rush to do that. I am considering making more fluid conduits, though, to replace all of these, because we've been using these here transfer nodes and whatnot for a while, and it's slow and inefficient. If I'm going to do that, why not go ahead and make the best ones in the game? But no, no, we'll wait on that. Let's go ahead and take a look at these furnaces, as recommended by Maria Amor, who recommended the diamond furnace, but there's an entire mod called More furnaces which just makes more furnaces as well as furnace upgrades you could make an iron furnace or you could upgrade your current furnace with an iron furnace upgrade and then upgrade that to a or just upgrade well, hold on what goes into this what's the difference between an iron one and a nether rack should i look these up maybe my assumption was that one built upon the next built upon the next but no they don't this it builds off of the diamond. This builds off of the iron. This builds off of the iron as well. All of these... Mm, this one seems to be the best, though. You know what? We're overthinking things. Let's just build the iron one, and we'll give that one a look-see. Was it stone in the center? I believe it was. Yeah, so there's an upgrade. We'll go upgrade one of our furnaces. Oh, did y'all notice that I moved the entrance over a little bit so it would be lined up with the center of the room now, and we have the entrance to the city i need to go look for my patrons and we have the entrance over here too bob do you shift click it oh should we take things out of the inside in case something bad happens okay iron furnace okay ui is different we've got two different slots for fuel and two different slots up top to put items so what do we want to smelt up in here let's say we wanted some stone you know we've got some cobblestone and we put our cobblestone up here Oh, it just looks like you can have two stacks of items, or two stacks of things to be cooked, and two stacks of fuels. Pretty pretty nifty. What about the gold one? Does that just take it up to three? I bet you that's exactly what it does. Where are my gold blocks? Let's make some of these. And once more, put a... Is it stone? Oh, I bet you we put iron in the middle this time. Gold to iron chest upgrade. Not what we want to do. We want to do this. Ah, Iron Nugget. We have none of those. You've thrown me for a loop here, game. I've never needed an Iron Nugget for anything in my life. That's not true. I'm sure we have. Okay, once again, just out of paranoia's sake, we'll take those out. We'll shift-click on... Okay. Yeah, three for three. How much do you want to bet you know what the diamond one's going to do? I don't know for sure. But last time I checked, we do have a lot of diamonds. So it wouldn't hurt to... Just pop it on and... Uh, okay, that's a lot of stacks. Is it any faster? I wasn't paying enough attention to say for sure if it was faster or not. Let's get some coal. In this case, we'll get all of our tiny coal. And then what do we want to smelt in there? What is something we smelt a lot of? Cobble. Cobble is something we do smelt an awful lot of. Hey, how are we doing, by the way? We need to go to the deep dark slash the beneath slash whatever it's called. How am I doing? Oh, okay, we've got some quintuple compressed cobblestone. We've got 15 quintuple compressed cobblestone. What is the portal to the deep dark or the underneath? Should we just type in portal? That might get us there. Yeah, look at this. Deep dark portal requires a septuple compressed cobblestone to four sextuple compressed cobblestones and four quintuple compressed cobblestones quintuples as far as we've gotten so far let's let's teach it the next tier i guess Oof, look at that okay and we want to make sure we have this set up exactly the same results of the crafting op operation will stay in the input buffer we'll go to the output buffer uh, stay in the input buffer as i think what we want to do click boom okay so taking a look at it again we have a single sextuple compressed cobble and we need Four of those, and then a septuple. <sighs> we may well need to make some more cobblestone generators. That might be a necessity. So let's load up the cobblestone, and let's load up the tiny coal. 
that is much faster. I thought that maybe it would take from all of these, though. And you see you have seven slots. Maybe it would cook seven at a time. It doesn't do that, but it is very, very fast. Did we notice a speed difference between this and the iron one? I bet you the iron one is probably a bit faster, too, and the gold's a bit faster than that. This is good, though. No need to automate or to uh, to electric uh, make electric... Um, words are failing me. An electric furnace would be nice. We need to build the better alloy smelter. But this is pretty handy. I think we're going to be using this a lot in the future, especially for tasks like this, just making stone, making glass, things like that. This seems like a great device for that. So, Maria Moore, thank you for that tip. Thank you for that suggestion. That was a very solid one. Very happy with that. Hopping bonsai loot. I tested this last episode, did it wrong, didn't realize that I did it wrong until I was editing was embarrassed, deleted it, told Lucas Kitts about it, because Lucas is the one that recommended this. So for those of you who don't know, there is something called a loot recycler right here. Very simple build. It's stone, it's a chest, it's a piece of iron. I built one last episode, though you wouldn't have seen me do it because it got cut. And the idea is simple. You can put things like sticks inside of it, and it will turn those sticks into... Uh, well, we need to make sure it works first. Put sticks here, it'll make loot bags, right? Last episode, I decided to test this. The idea was that if you put a hopping bonsai on top and we have it grow a tree and the, the contents of the tree would empty into here and that would be converted into loot bags. And I got the sticks and I was like, no, it doesn't work. Doesn't even, it doesn't work like it does in Sky Adventures. Not realizing that this is where loot bags are stored and this is where loot is put. So... Oh, no, it still doesn't work. You still can't put sticks in there. If you've never played, we had a brief live stream series where I played Sky Adventures. You put sticks up here, and that worked well. It doesn't look like it's working at all here. Maybe we, in this pack, have to use things that are loot-related, things you actually would get out of a loot bag. We can test that by finding my pickaxe. Ah, you know what I did with it? I remember what I did with it now. It's over here, and it's fully repaired and ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great. Okay, so sorry, Lucas Kits. The hopping bonsai idea, it still doesn't work. I even tested it correctly this time, but uh, still a no-go. Executive producer Lucas Kits there. Uh, we can go test it in here, though, and see if we can really... I keep forgetting this thing is on. <laughs> we can test and see if we can use it to recycle loot. Like, what am I doing with a diamond helmet? I won't even... Oh. So I was wrong. It I was right the first time. Wait, it does go down here. So I was... I, this whole time. This whole shrekin' time. I was right. It does... Go, look at that. Look at that. And now we can take out all these loot bags. And we can drop them inside of here. Perfect. Um, well... There you go, it does work. We could set up some sort of an automation system to automatically recycle the things we don't want in here. For instance, what am I ever going to do with an acceleration wand? That one, that one's useful, but we have one. We don't need more than one. So I could have that automatically be recycled. S various forms of slime we don't need. Various golden leggings and torches we don't need. So we could just have... There's a gold apple. That's the expensive one, too, isn't it? Yeah. How about that? We could take all of these things and just throw them in here and, look at that, get ourselves some loot bags. Cow in a jar. Provides milk to the kitchen. We don't need that. How is this thing functioning, by the way? Was Did something drop a chicken, or did a chicken die in here? I don't know the answer to that question. We did get some more ender pearls, though. Berry bush room. I think the idea there was that some of these bushes only grow in the dark and we should create a room better suited for them. Bash, Shrek, let's do that right now. I can do that. It's just making a dark room. Well, a dark room that things can't spawn in. So let's get slabs also. And can things spawn on the top of these? If they're fully grown? Mm, we'll find out. You know what would be nice for this? A builder's wand. Shh, do we have one? Do we have a, do we have a builder's wand? We don't have a builder's wand. Can we make one? We can make a builder's wand. Uh, we could just type in wand, though. I think there's probably other options. Yeah, so we've got the, the better builder's wands, and we got the old school builder's wands. 
We can make a stone one, an iron one, a diamond one. I don't have a, a death wish. I don't want to accidentally cover the world in stone like Jenna does because she thinks it'd be funny. Uh, does it not work like this? Are you are you kidding me? Can I not can I not build up with it? Can I only build off to the sides? Seriously? I mean, I guess it works, but could we have done that with an uh can we, can we do it with an iron, a, a diamond one? I don't see how this is better, honestly, if I can't. Look at this. What the heck is going on here? Uh, is the bobble on? Turn on my bobble. <laughs> Turn on my bobble. There we go. That's what I want. That's what I want to see. Didn't realize the iron one was so lame. All right. There. And the room is now sealed. Too much so. I'm trying to make it uh, line up with the center of that wall. Because now we're going to have to have some lighted floor tiles. Or I call them floor tiles. Lighted blue lamps going in here. I love these. I can't wait for Lucas to see these. And maybe he'll implement them into the Kingdom's Keep. The new Kingdom's Keep highway. Maybe. You walk strange on these, I'm just now realizing. This is the normal walking animation. See my hand, my hand bobbing? And then you got on these and you just kind of slide. Door. We've got the dark spruce door that I was originally using over here on the Room of Shame. Door needs to be kept shut on the Room of Shame. Okay. Now we make it creepily dark in here. All right. So, the door is shut. There's still a bit of light coming in here, though. I don't know where from. Out right, there? Is that black? Is it leaking in under the door? I don't know how that works out. What if I put this here? Oh, that works much better. But now it leaves the way for horrible monsters to spawn in here. That's why we're lining the floor with slabs. And you'll notice the red X's disappearing as we make the floor a safe space for peoples. How do we get out? Oh no, this is negative. Hold on. <laughs> if I break this, is it going to flood the room with light again? It doesn't look like it did. And now we can... Ah, uh, you know what? Check me, this bauble. It's going to become such a hassle. Uh, we should have sunk in the floor is what we should have done. That would have made more sense. Okay, so for those of you that were worried about the berries, they've now been planted. Hopefully they are all dark enough in this room. There's light coming through the door again. Nothing I can do about that, unfortunately. Unless I wanted to... What if I moved the door to the other side? What if I have the door on this side? Hold on, let me check. I, I don't know if there's a way to stop light from coming through the door, but if we put it... <laughs> Good gosh. <laughs> this is not my day. This is just not my day. If we put the door here, yeah, it doesn't make a difference. The only thing I can think of doing is getting rid of these blocks leading up to the door, but we won't do that. We'll see where this gets us. It's dark in there. No monsters should spawn in there. And I don't want this eye chisel to die. So we'll repair it in here. All in all, a fantastic episode. Look at all of the things that we got done. I am so very proud of us all. Can we move one of these up? This is sort of bothering me. There we go. That's better. Cleared off a lot of things off the to-do wall. This gap is going to bother some people, but that's fine. Until next time, thank you folks for watching. God bless you, and I'll see you later. Bye!